If you find this video helpful, then feel free to donate whatever amount you can. Link is in the description below. A series RL circuit takes a current of 2.7 ampere when connected to 240 volt 50 hertz AC supply and consumes 350 watts. Calculate resistance, inductance, impedance, and power factor. Solution First of all, we will write what is given. The value of current is given. So I is equal to 2.7 ampere. Then the value of voltage is given. So V is equal to 240 volt. Then the value of frequency is given. F is equal to 50 hertz. AC supply and consumes 350 watts. The value of power is given. So this is 350 watt. Then we have to calculate resistance. That is we have to find the value of R is equal to question mark. Inductance that is L is equal to question mark. Then impedance that is Z is equal to question mark. And power factor that is cos 5. So power factor. Power factor is equal to question mark. So first of all we will find the value of resistance. So to find the value of resistance, first of all we have to find first we will write what is given power. Power is equal to V into I into cos phi. The value of power is there. The value of voltage is also given. Value of current is also given. So from here we can find the value of cos phi. So power is 350. Voltage is 240. Current is 2.7 ampere. So from here cos phi will be cos phi is equal to 350 divided by 240 multiplied by 2.7 so 350 multiplied by divided by 240 multiplied by 2.7 so it is 0 0.54 0.54 which is the value of power factor so therefore power factor power factor is equal to 0.54 then from here we can find the value of can find the value of impedance also z is equal to v by i the value of voltage is 240 and the value of current is 2.7 so 240 divided by 2.7 240 divided by 2.7 so it is 88.8 88.8 .8. 88 .8 is the value of impedance and its unit is ohm therefore z is equal to 88.8 ohm then next from this impedance we can find the value of r also because cos phi is equal to r upon z we have the value of cos phi that is power factor it is 0.54 and we also have the value of z it is 88.8 .8. so therefore r is equal to z into cos phi the value of z is 88.8 .8 multiplied by cos phi is 0 0.54 0 0.54 so 88.8 .8 multiplied by 0.54 it is 47.95 47.95 47.95 so 
95 since it is resistance to its unit is ohm. Then next, we can find the value of XL because we have the value of R and Z. So, we know that Z is equal to under root of R square plus XL square. What you have to find in this question, we have to find resistance, inductance, impedance and power factor. We have already found the value of power factor. We already found the value of impedance and resistance also. Just inductance is remained. So, first of all, we will find this inductive reactance. And we know that Z is equal to under root of R square plus XL square. Now, if we take square on both sides, so this will be Z square is equal to R square plus XL square. This under root and the square will be cancelled. Now, XL is equal to Z square minus R square. The value of Z is 88.8. So, 88.8 .8 square minus R. R is 47.95. 47.95 square. So, therefore, XL is equal to 88.8 square minus 47.95 square. So it is 5586. Also, here this is square. So we have to take this is XL square. This is also XL square. So it is 5586. 5586.2375. But we have to find the value of XL. So we have to take the under root of this. So under root of answer is 74.74. .74. 74.74. .74. Now, since it is inductive reactance, so its unit will be ohm. So this is the value of inductive reactance. Now, we know that XL is equal to XL is equal to 2 pi F into L. So therefore, L is equal to XL divided by 2 pi into F. The value of XL is 74.74 divided by 2 pi F. So, this will be 2 pi multiplied by F is the frequency and the value of frequency is 50 hertz. So, this will be 74.74 divided by 2 multiplied by pi multiplied by 50. So, it is 0 0.237. 0 0.237. And its unit is Henry. Therefore, L is equal to 0 0.237 Henry. This is the value of inductance. Now, we have found the value of inductance. Then, resistance, impedance and power factor. This is what, this is, what is asked in this question. Calculate resistance, inductance, impedance and power factor. If you find this video helpful, then feel free to donate whatever amount you can. Link is in the description below. Thank you.